All right, today we're going to be talking about other health impaired or OHI and this is just basically a blanket term used to cover all areas of special learners and is used to make sure that everybody is included even outside of the main categories of special learners. So OHI means having limited strength, vitality, or alertness and again is just used as a general term to make sure that everybody is covered and has equal access to education. So some specific examples as listed by the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. And again, this doesn't cover everything because OHI is a very broad spectrum of special learners and can mean anything. So some specific examples are asthma, ADD or ADHD, diabetes, epilepsy, heart condition, hemophilia, leukemia, kidney disease, sickle cell anemia or Tourette syndrome and it varies depending on state as well but in general most things are covered under the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act and this just makes sure that everybody has equal access and so OHI is really just used to make sure everybody's covered but these are just a few listed under the act. So because there is so much to cover, what I will be talking about today is something that I have recently encountered in my teaching experience as a music educator, which is injury and lingering impact. And this generally is not something categorized under the specifics, but the person I am talking about and have gotten permission from um, is a army vet, an injured army vet. And so it really brought up the topic for me of other health impairments that this technically would qualify even though it wasn't something of, at birth or something that's not mental, emotional, etc, etc. So how can an injury impact music making long term? When an injury is not treated by a musician specializing doctor or the doctor is unaware, the injury may not heal in a way that truly leaves all limbs usable. For instance, this particular person cannot put their first finger and second finger together for a stringed instrument. That would be your pointer and middle finger. And she is unable to put her fingers together without excruciating pain. And to that extent, she cannot rotate her hand around the neck of the instrument without being in severe pain and seeing you are able to see the veins throbbing in her arm from the pain. So some things to consider when you have something like this or just an OHI in general, just some things to talk about and get the ball rolling so you can make your adaptations is what adaptations will students need and what can you offer them? A lot of the times this can be found in the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. There are a lot of resources there and a lot of accommodations that are commonly made. Um, but another good way to figure that out is talking to the students and parents themselves about what things that they need to effectively learn. Um, something that I have now considered and I had never considered before is asking what was the injury and how was it dealt with. For my specific content area of education, it is really important to know not only what it was, but how my students deal with it or have dealt with it in the past so I can effectively make accommodations and understand their health. Of course, this is not something that they have to disclose to you, but it is something to talk to your administration about or and or parent about so that you can get as much information as you can so you can make the appropriate steps. So uh, something else to consider is how has this impacted other aspects of life and learning? Again, your the parents are your best resource, so being able to talk to them about how said OHI has infect, affected their life and how it affects other aspects of learning. So talking to past teachers and current teachers will give you a really, really good gauge of what you can do for the student and 
talking to parents and past teachers is going to give you a good idea of what things have worked in the past. So on this page, I went ahead and attached some resources. I'm not sure if you will be able to click it because I plan on making this into a YouTube video, but I will attach them in the um, description. As the first one is a link to resources for music educators and just educators in general with some exercises, some activities and things like that, that will help your special learners and your OHIs especially really grasp the concept and help it be more accessible to everybody. So in general, just really good for all of your students. The second document I have attached is the one I have been recently reading a lot of. It is a dissertation from FSU about how to teach and how to deal with injured string players, which is the one I've been reading quite a lot of. Um, I haven't been able to make a ton of adaptations for this student as it's a recent development, um, but some keynotes that I'm going to make in right now with this section is we have done things such as altering the size of the instrument, adding cushion pads so that she's able to move her fingers more freely or apply pressure without actually squeezing the instrument so she can move her hand because sometimes she can't help but have the tension and the pressure. And also changing the key signature is a big one and taking that in into consideration as the teacher when choosing rep and material and things like that. It's not as big of a deal since she is just in, she's just taking private lessons with me, but if this were a larger classroom, it would be a much bigger deal to really take that into consideration when choosing your rep and when picking exercises to do to make sure that even though you are accommodating the student, you're not hindering the other students as well. And then the last thing I attached to the CDE, it's a PDF guideline on what an OHI learner student would be as listed under the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. So this is exactly what it means, what is under it, what is covered, and it also has a lot of great resources as to um, what you as an educator can do for your students. So I hope this was really informative and I know OHI is still a huge blanket term and kind of covers all kinds of fields, but I hope this opened your eyes to what it means and what understanding it will do for you. Bye.